Hey, hey, hey guys, tis I, Randy Strand, or as many of you know me, you can call me Butter. Today, I want you to take a walk with me first because I, I am so excited to unbox this for you. You have no idea. So let's take a little walk. I have this huge box that came for me from Art Dot. I am so excited to unbox this bad boy. This is the A1 light pad. It is so big. I can't even tell you. I can't show you the other side because it's got my address, but it's massive. So uh, what I'll do is I'll bring it back into the craft room, tell you a little bit about it. We'll unbox it. I do have a couple of other size light pads so I can kind of show you the difference and you can really get an idea of how big this is. So I wanted to show you, kind of give you an idea to see how big it is. Let's see, I did write down the specs. Okay, so it's 35.4 inches by 23.6 inches. And since diamond paintings are usually in centimeters, I wrote down it's 60 centimeters by 90 centimeters. You know, I did this gigantic painting and I really wish that I would have had this A1 light pad with me whenever I did that because it's crazy. Me particularly, I don't care for doing paintings sideways. Like if it's a big long painting, I don't wanna have to flip it this way and work sideways. It just messes me up, you know, especially if you have arrows and different symbols like that that are going every direction, you can get messed up with that. So let me just turn you around. I'm so excited, hang on. Okay, I'm down on the floor because I wanted to show you how big this actually is. You can see my chair is here and the handle is not even as tall as this. So this lap pad is so big. I love it because if you want to work with it this way, if you clip your diamond painting to it, you can do that. Or say you've got a taller, skinnier painting, you can actually flip this the other way. And I'll show you an example of that. Now that we have it out of the big box, I just wanted to show you what the inner box looked like. I think that's great because it's double box and I'm sure they've got it nice and packed in here as well because you don't want it to break. I wanted to lay this down so we could open it together and you could really see it. So I've tried to clean everything up and zoomed out. As you can see, it's by Art Dot. And it says, life is more fun when you paint by diamonds as an artist. So without further ado, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how massive this thing is. And as you can see, I think you can see there's there's a, a protective cover on here and then you've got little foam things on all four corners so it's really protecting this as it's being shipped we have our adapter here open this up so you can see what it looks like um, now, so this just has like the regular plug in there that will go directly into the light pad and then you plug this into the wall so Make sense? I know some of them are USB cables, but this is not, so I like that too. Okay. Um, oh wow, I think this is actually like a big sleeve, so let me do this. Oh my goodness. Let's take these off first. And we've got some sort of information in here. It's just kind of showing you um, that it's a super bright light. It's telling you, you know, the how to operate it and all that good stuff. So, now we're going to get these out of here. I'm pretty impressed with how this is packaged. Wow. All right, you guys ready? Let me stand up and take this off of here. This is so massive. Wow. It's got a mat Ooh, that feels good it's got like a kind of a nice tiny bit of texture on there i think i must have it upside down although so here's the power button can you see that yeah so here's the power button and here is what you will plug that little 
uh, adapter into that plug. But the art dot, it says art dot right here. For me specifically, I usually always put that on this side because I'm right-handed. So what I'll probably do is actually use it like this. If you're left-handed or if you don't care, or maybe even because it's big enough, you won't need to do that. Let me turn this sideways and see if you can see. It's not very thick, so that's kind of cool too. It definitely has some heft to it. You know it's not gonna bend or fall over or anything like that, but man, that looks good. All right, let me put it up on the um, easel and I'll be right back. Here she is up on the easel. Absolutely amazing. So we've got, it's it, the art dot on the bottom over here is where you've got your little cable to plug in and then you've got the power button. But because I'm just difficult like that, sometimes if I'm diamond painting, I don't like having the power button over here because I rest my hand on it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna flip it this way. Like that. And I already have this plugged in behind me. So all I'm going to do is plug that in and let's turn it on and see what happens. Eee, I'm so excited. Okay. All right. So there is the lightest one. So that's just giving you just a touch of light. And then that's setting number two and that's setting number three. I like it because it's not really in your face it, it's giving you good light and like i said this is so nice i don't know i don't know what it's made out of but none of the other ones that i have are like that so this is the a1 let me get my notes because i'll never remember what sizes all of these are even though i am about to tell you all of the dimensions of each size light pad i just wanted to put a visual on here and also let you know that the a1 is on sale for 109.99 but let me give you my code art dot has reached out to me and i am in the middle of editing this video so instead of my 10 percent off discount um, for three days, starting on Monday, June the 26th, you are actually getting 30% off. The code is LB30. So it's right here. You can see that. So basically what you need to do is you need to put that code in. It's going to be valid for three days. So June 26th, 27th, and 28th, you can actually get 30% off of the light pad. So there you go. And if it's after that, then you can use the code BUTTER10 and get 10% off. Okay, there are four sizes of light pads that they have. This is the largest, this is the A1. So it's 36.6 .6 inches by 24.7 and it's 2.2 .2 inches thickness around it. Then there is the A2, which I have one of those, and it's 24 inches by 16.7, and it's 1.6 thick. So let me get that, and I'll just show you the difference in size. This is actually going to be the A2. So that's the second largest size. You can see how massive the A1 is compared to even this one. And then I don't have an A3. It's going to be a little bit smaller than this one. That one's going to be 17.3 inches by 12.9 by 1.4. And then the very smallest one is the A4. So here is the A4. Look at the size difference. <laughs> That's amazing. And the smallest one, did I say that already? 13.9 by 9.7, and it's 1.3 inches thickness. So if that gives you an idea, and what I'll do is I'll bring a painting that I'm working on over here, and I'll actually show you different ways that you can use the giant light pad. So give me just a second, I'll be right back. What I wanted to show you guys, and I'm sorry that the um, 
painting stuff is covered up, but I don't want to give preferential treatment because I'm trying to show you some different canvases on the light pad. <clears throat> so here's a really good example of a long painting. It's tall, but this is where the light pad stops. So if I cut this legend off and I move it down, I bet you almost all of this painting will completely fit on here. I think you'll have just a little bit of a gap over there. I'm gonna turn the light pad on, it's off right now. Like I said, it has several settings. So I just wanted to show you, here is the first setting in case, you know, with the symbols, like I said, some symbols may be blurry, they may not, they may look good. Um, or you just want a, a soft light on. So that's the first setting. Here's the second one. You can really see how much of the painting it covers. And then here's the last one. So it's super bright. I mean, look at that. You have almost the entire painting covered here. And like I said, if you've got this legend cut off and you're moving it down, Literally, you have the tiniest bit here and the tiniest bit on that side that are not covered by the light pad. So I love being able to work, you know, right side up with this. I don't really like flipping one of these longer diamond paintings the opposite way because then your symbols are going to be turned. So I love that you can get that whole canvas in there. So that is one way that you can do it. Let me switch canvases and I'll show you another option. Here is the painting that I'm working on right now. Uh, what I did was I used these big binder clips and I just put those on there to hold her in place. Um, if you wanted to, you could take the light pad and actually turn it this way and then you could clip both sides because this painting is a 60 by 90. So she would fit perfectly if you turned her sideways and then turned the light pad up. I'll show you that in just a second. This girl is a taller painting, not as much wide. So if I try and put it the same way as the other longer painting that I had, uh, I showed you before the binder clips and how you could do that. But if you want to just slowly move her up, let me show you what I did. So I've just got the lap head turned this way. And I didn't unroll her, uh, but I've just got her rolled up on a pool noodle. But it gives you an idea of as you're moving her up and down and you're working on her, you can use these binder clips on both sides. And you could even put one down here and on that side. Let's see how the symbols look close up with the lap pad. In fact, I'll turn it off first. Let me zoom you in. Here we have an extreme close-up of the symbols. This is on the light pad, but the light pad is not turned on yet. So you can see what the symbols look like without anything, you know, any enhancements. All right, so I'm going to turn on the lowest setting. That's what it looks like on the lowest setting, and the symbols still look great to me. I don't see, you know, it making them look worse or anything like that. Like I said, each canvas is different. It just depends on where you get it from. So here is setting number two. Let's go to the higher one. Nice. So you can really see everything clear. And it also depends on the background of each symbol. As you can see, some of them have a white background and other ones are a darker blue. So that makes a difference as well. Let me do it one more time for you a little bit quicker. So here is off. There's one, two, and three. Once again, we have her on here. What I wanna do is I wanna turn the light pad on and show you what it looks like. The thing that I like about this is if you've got the light pad, you know, the majority of it up here, um, what you can do is turn it on softer. So you can just turn it on a lighter setting, <clears throat> excuse me, and then it's not blinding you, but you can still see down here. Or you can turn it up a little bit more, or you can turn it up all the way. And because this is almost kind of frosted, it still looks good. It's not blinding having this on high and working on her. All right, guys, this is a must have for me. 
if there was only one thing I could get, this would be it. You know I'm a size queen, and if you too love large diamond paintings, this is absolutely the way to go. Like I said before, if you want the light pad and you want 30% off, starting Monday, June 26th through Wednesday, June 28th, you can get 30% off. So use my code LB30. And if it's after that, then you can use my other code, which is butter10 and get 10% off. So hurry while you can, three days only. Thank you so much, Art Dot. I absolutely love it. Like I said, just because it's on an easel right now does not mean that you can't use it on a flat table as well. Do with it what you will. Art Dot, I appreciate you. This is amazing. And don't forget guys, you can use that code even though it's already on sale. All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, see you then. Bye, guys.